evening, Monday. <coughs> Do this back up to the Eloki Desert. Doing some side quests there. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure on how to pronounce it, but... I've done a little bit of town. Get someone to look up Ancestors Landing. Here somewhere apparently. This work isn't going to do itself. They say it on the map. Quickly. Now is the time. The dead have returned to the sea. The kind that would help fatten Ildan. Where there are... Guards are holding Ildani's wares in the customs house on the hill overlooking the docks. Ugh. Laws in Alec. No problem. You've heard of skooma, yes? Makes people happy and harmless as long as it's made... Vandaria. I like the idea of helping them, but... <sighs> oh well. According to Section 16 of the Sentinel Docks Trade Regulations, this is a restricted... It is. And we're on high alert right now. A Bandari smuggler named Ildani escaped from the guard. You met her. She asked you to come and steal back her goods, didn't she? Perfect. Fantastic. You'll be acting as a deputized, non-uniformed city guard, as permitted by Regulation 11. You'll take Ildani's goods and offer... <laughs> Actually, I'm not a big fan of Skooma, so...
did you find, Ildan? Ah, you do spotless work. Ah, you are so kind. You think Ildani is sleek, yes? Sorry, no sweet meat for you. But Ildani will reward if you deliver wares to buyers. A servant at the inn, an apprentice at the smithy. We use a code. Just say, Alakir is so hot. A So bad for the um addicts though. In, so I can't see chat. Actually, just talking to myself. I mean, I probably am anyway, but. Fuck, is that still all for? Can't you see I'm waiting for you? The heart and soul of men. Red diamond, Hello. Red diamond, protect us till the end. If you're not careful. That's the chef. All these clothes. Oh, one of those rich. If he plays his part. I hope you're enjoying your stay at the Sisters of the Sand. Please be sure to let Rudabin know if you have any... At last! My patrons were getting anxious. I take it you have a package. Wonderful! It's just the thing to take the edge off this heat. Rudabin likes to take credit for the success of the inn. I'm guessing my little service is what really keeps them coming back. I'm sorry, my friend. Yes, it's unseasonably warm from here to Bergama. The coastal winds blow in a southerly direction. Excellent. I was starting to wonder if Ildani finally got her tail caught in a trap. Things would be complicated between us. Cats. If you're looking for assistance, I understand. I also hate the heat, my friend. Thank the. Excuse me. Now, hopefully, I can lie about the addicts and just say, "Oh, it was it? They were dead drops." Nice work, Deputy. We have everything we need to satisfy Statute 3. 
That means Eldani is in deep. We'll round them up later. They're locals, so we don't want to make too much of a scene. I can't thank you enough for cooperating. I don't wish it, I would leave the locals alone. It's alone. You there. There's gold for you if you'll lend me your time. I am a scholar of some import. <laughs> import. That is to say, I've traveled quite far. From Cyrodiil, just to study this forgotten shore. I sorely need it. Azai at Oanok? He's my guide to Alakir. He shows me the best routes and helps me make camp. Legend says it only appears to a chosen few. I've had to ask strangers to walk through the ruins to look for it. Untrained eyes. I'm that desperate. Isaac, I appreciate the assistance from common folks such as yourself. This sword is a significant I, I'm anything but common. Direct evidence of a legendary event. There are books about this, but as you may be illiterate, I'll enlighten you. I suspect this is the site where sword singer Navid slew Ilkub, his ally, over the love of... The blade of a sword singer is a physical link between ancient Yakuta and Alikir. Navid used this particular sword to slay his rival and then himself. No one's seen it. I hate this dude so much. Here's the reason that people hate, um, educated people. that the Imperial has found someone else to talk to. His haughtiness is suffocating. The sword in question is a wonder. The great scholar, the magnificent scholar, believes that this... He wants to preserve it in a safe warehouse in Cyrodiil, where all the other artifacts have been taken. If not me, another would surely stand here. My advice to you is simply to look along the shore. Yes, in the early days... One of the warriors... Yes, just so... Racked with guilt... The sword in... The great scholar, he wants to preserve, if not... As a danger, right? What are they doing here? It's like someone that was working for him has gotten killed. Beware. You must leave this place. You seek the sword. Is it not so? I must tell you. 
You are not the first. Take up the blade and you will see. The sword cursed are here among us already, circling like half-starved jackals. Then the curse was forged in blood and envy. I murdered my dearest friend in a jealous rage, and the blade bears that taint still. The sword cursed cannot bear the thought of losing the blade. If you... Yes, and they will not stop so long as you carry it. Once you fall, they are long dead and thus cannot be killed, though they will sleep for a time. Can't I just leave it? Oh, I suppose if I give it to that dude and it's cursed, well then, fuck him. I haven't even come across so key yet. Hopefully I didn't just reset it. the sword i did not expect you would find it only those who are different are only those with the keenest senses can even see it and only one without a soul should be able to take it from its resting place i do not know how you lifted it unless your soul no matter what is your intention a deception i watch no it is a deep ancient curse there is darkness in that blade that even the that is for the best Leave it at the lion's tomb on the shore. Then talk to Herminia softly. I mean, the dude's a dick, but... It's about as far as it goes. I warned you. I cannot. Do I not suffer enough? It has been... No! I cannot! I will not! This is all Ilkut. surprised that you didn't find anything it takes keen eyes and an educated mind to fully identify significant artifacts i may just abandon this site and go deeper in the desert anyway Dickhead. okay cloudy minds is next
apparently they just You're gonna die out here. I was wealthy a month ago, and then the spiders came. Who knows what brought them. The last prospector to go in was Sekbar. I warned him that the mine was dangerous, but he said he had to go. Shagora said she was Sekbar's betrothed. She went in after him, and that's the last... a little bit Someone out there? I'm in a cocoon, help! Merciful Rucha, huh? Cause me here? Thought our voice came from a dream. Yes, I've been. Right there. Help me find Shigura. She must have gone further. The fact that they feed on the dead bodies of other spiders is kind of fucked, but it makes sense. Spider. Oh, that's a bloody Daedric spider. What the hell? That's the beast that wed me. Be careful. What desire brings you here, mortal? You seek some of this world claim the gods as ancestors. To them, the day to do that, I propose a trade. You may feed an elder spider. 
Or you can let my children feed on your red god friend. Then I shall not let you speak to her. It is simple. Now, will you stand about doing nothing? Wonderful. They will. Such sweet indeed. The way is open to you. Just around the head. Curse this darkness. I can't see a thing. If that's the case, then where is he? No, you're just another one of my... What? Where? Stop lying, Illusion. When I get out of this place, I'll talk... The Orc woman is strong. Ah, three. I do not fear you more. As you can tell, the Orc is resistant to my charms. She has... That can be done as well. Give them both to me, and I will provide... Then we are at an impasse, are we not? As you can tell, the orc is resistant to my charms. She has not made a good specimen. I see her now. And that Daedra has her in its grasp. No healing. But I can't stand by while my love is trapped by this. A month ago, I was... For a second, I thought I heard sex. The orc woman is strong will. Ah, threats I... I do not fear you, mortal. You. As you can tell, the orc is resistant to my charms. I see her now. A month ago. The orc woman is strong willed. Uh. A challenge. Ah, I do not. As you can tell, the orc is resistant to my charms. Ah, how. Creature, gladly take my love's place. Hush now, sweetling. Come and rest. My head! Get out! Get out! The first dose is always the sum of this world. There now. Isn't that better? Don't fight, just let go. Should I kill the fucking thing?
am I so out of breath? Daedra? What are you talking about? I came out here- Who? That's a silly name. I don't owe him money, do I? Sorry, I don't know you or your buddy Sekbo. Okay, well, at least there's that. <laughs> Better she don't remember. And dude, I'm sorry, but you, he's gone. You're a skelly. Marry someone like this. Oh. I cannot believe it. My sweet muse, he led you to my bow. I paid an enchanter to ensure I could come back and be with her even in death. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was... This is even better than I... Musi. <laughs> I couldn't ask her to do that. The same thing that happened to me. I had her enchanted as well, of course. Kind of cute, but I don't know if the dogs are going to want to live like that. Got a feel of the wind and it's fair or anything. Sand beneath its paws. Each blade stands alone. This used to be a place of repose, of learning. Now, I don't. We are a respected school of swordsmanship. Our blade masters are matchless, our students disciplined and sharp. A thousand apologies. My tongue doesn't know its proper place. Yes, our knowledge can be shared by all who desire proper training. Perhaps you will take the rights of Lecky's blade. Please. Considering I'm a mage and I barely use the sword, it can be a little bit awkward. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm confused.
potential is obvious. I can see you've handled challenges before. Welcome to our school. Students prove themselves through the art of battle. Any fool can win a duel, but a master knows who will challenge her and where it will occur. You must think as the masters did. It is a delicate matter. I am unsure how to say this, but something is amiss. I need someone who can... A shadow. My own senses are overwhelmed. Many have said it before you. Greetings to you, student. What knowledge do you seek? A strategy to slay your opponents, the strength to protect your allies, the power to split a king. Listen, this is a tale of Master Fidalia, Blade Master of Lecky's Blade. While on walkabout, Master Fidalia encountered a wagon. The wagon's owner was an uninjured woman facing an unmasked man. He held a battered axe, she a pristine blade. The woman said the man was a bandit who had already attacked her once. She begged Master Fidalia to intervene. Master Fidalia walked away, yet the woman lived to tell her tale. Why did she live? You see as Master Fidalia did. The woman claimed she fought the bandit, yet she had no wounds. Had she parried his axe, her pristine blade would be notched. Had Master Fidalia faced the bandit, the woman would have stabbed her in the back. Then hear the story of Master Aram Cessnit. Long ago, a foreign mage came to challenge us. He claimed his power a match for our blades. One by one, he dueled our students. This master of alteration could turn steel to mist at will. Every student lost. Master Aram was an initiate, yet he faced the mage and won. So handily, in fact, that his opponent made apologies and left forever shamed. Of all the students who faced the mage, Master Aram was far from the best warrior. How did Master Aram win the duel? A valid strategy. One that has certainly felled even the most powerful mage. Yet what would it have proven? The mage made no claim he could defeat any bow. He said only that his power was a match for the sword. What you see is Master Aram did. The foreign mage claimed his power a match for our blades. Indeed. Any steel that threatened him turned to mist as fast as one could blink. Right. The training sword is wood, and wood is nothing like steel. I tell you now the story of Master Aram Cessnit's end. Long ago, Master Aram was the blade master here. In his last days, he called his favorite student to him. If she could give him what he wanted most, she would become the next blade master of Lecky's blade. That is what you must discover. Master Arm's legend is known by all, even the serving folk. Direct your questions to them, Alam, Unar, and Imam. Not all who come to train at Lucky's Blade learn what they thought they might. Like many here, I came to Lucky's Blade to become a great warrior. Despite my training, I lack talent with a blade. We do not choose when we rest. To give up the hard road is to bring suffering to the next traveler. Basically, never give up. Ten years I've trained since that day. I'm no master. <laughs> Have you come to... No, you're not the provisioner from Sentinel. Forgive me. These students mock my temper. You'd think I'm the old master's reincarnation the way they bellyache. In any case, I know only the stories, such as the one about the enchanted man. He forbade Redguard trainees to dabble in magic. When a traveling merchant brought enchanted knives, Master Aram upturned the cart and chased the poor man into a sand dune. He wouldn't even use the metal. He threw it.
Gonna quickly get the way shrine going. Okay, so there's a mush camp over there. The stables are not as busy as they once were. Anyone who knows of our school has heard of him. He was the master who brought the teachings to so many. In truth, no one knows. Many tales were told about his last battle with a group of bandits. Some say he survived and went on to roam the sands beyond Lecky's Blade. I can't imagine that myself. Progress is slow. Want to disarm. Excellent. Then tell me, what did Master Aram Cessnit want at the end of his life? What did his student give him? Master Aram's sickness was great, and a Red Guard who cannot fight is as weak as a toothless snake. But Red Guards do uh. not throw their lives away, no matter the hardship they face. Red Guards fight. They fight. You see, as the young student did so long ago. By that time, Master Aram was old and weak. No Red Guard wishes to die in bed, but it's shameful to take one's own life to avoid hardship. Master Aram left. You've learned what you must from me. Now's time to test your mettle. Speak to disciple Rafa Afhaba at the dueling. All right. <laughs> me? Here, the best blades of our generation train and hone their... Then we'll see the make of your steel and battle. My students have trained... Ah, she's as sharp as a knife's edge, even when she seems otherwise occupied. I see the way you walk. Like Taufa, I have not seen anything with my own eyes. We are both unsettled. At attention, whelps. We've got a challenger. Look alive out there, I don't want to see sloppy swordsmanship. Probably should be using a sword, but fuck it. More experience than our other students. I would not have accepted you as one, but I trusted Jack. Then drink from the cup behind you. It holds a potent concoction to put. These items are symbols. If you can obtain them in when you awaken, take them. <laughs> the one time it's not a cup. It's <laughs> the one time it's a cup on the ground.
weapons. Uh, they're gonna attack the bloody blood veins are gonna attack this place Another fine bat of flesh. Fedalia, you've done well. I beg you, stop this madness. Don't be weak. Now stand aside, for I wish to feed. No, I cannot allow this to go on. Fool. Then I will take your blood myself. My secret is revealed. I provided our old master with his life source, the blood of our students, but no more. Though it means my death, I'm glad you he did. And how he's returned as a foul undead creature, a vampire. I could not raise my voice. The wounds have long since healed. I've already fallen to his curse. It is how he compelled me to call for more and more students. Here, he feeds on our strongest. He sleeps beneath our monument to him, in the graveyard. Hagfen is a strange place, even with the Wyrrhus watching over Did you over speak to Master Fedalia? What? You mustn't jest of such things. What did she say? Now I know you lie, for he's been dead for almost a century. Yet the legends never did speak of his death. Sep, take you! I won't hear another word! Be gone! My disciples, this stranger speaks the truth. We must go to the graveyard. We will explain more soon, but for now, call upon an Arbiter. She must hear my confession as well. Hey, let's get this guy. Let me grant me strength. I must not delay any longer. Oh. I see that. It's got a bloody door. Is <laughs> what the 
the an arm coming out of it. I was like, whoa, if there's an arm in there, who the hell is body is it? That wasn't. Oh, So, you are the one the others spoke of so highly. Master Fidalia has brought shame upon- Master Fidalia summoned me. That is precisely why. Both Rifa and Ta- To think it has come to this. The undead have no place in Alakir, and yet Master Fidalia has guided us prudent. Now we know her true nature. We can be prepared for anything. The Master- And so it comes to an end. Since your revelation, I've been in torment. Master Fidalia always put the school first. When provisions run low, she goes without. When new weapons arrive, she tests them herself, lest the students be... No! No. One such as she must die. For her lies. For her traitorous actions. She behaved without honor through these past months, hiding this... Not quite the river. Have you made your decision? That is precisely why. Both Rifa and Tafa are too entwined to offer clear counsel, and that is what disciple Tafa Atmakela said as well. But I ask you, if Master Fadalia dies, who will protect the That is what disciple Rifa Afhaba said as well. But I ask you, if in truth, it is what I thought as well. Master Fadalia has served the school faithfully. It was not her desire to Fadalia, your life is spared. Leave. And never return. No, I must pay for my crimes. I cannot live with this shame. An outsider pardons this traitor? I will have no part of it. Remember the master's riddle. Bow and accept your exile with honor. I... Forgive me. This is my duty. I accept it gladly. <gasps> Ever shall you scour the sands and protect our people. So it is written. Master, be at ease. I will protect the school in your place. I still can't quite believe what's happened. There's no one else. I'll certainly not be a replacement for the Master, but I will... It will go on, as it always has. Let it not be said that we shirk our responsibility when you... Now we must be vigilant against the old master, who knows our secrets and our ways. If I see her again, I will bring. Oh. Pep's a spy. You look like you're at loose ends. The boss hired a matchmaker named Ashtad to find a groom for his daughter, and he sent me out here to recruit someone. He says he'll pay. No, you'll help Ashtad. The boss suspended hostilities for the wedding. No one will attack you. And if you take the job, tell that matchmaker to call me in. This is no work for a certified cutthroat.
one of the ungodly. Yes, well, uh, I'm in a bind. I'm considering potential grooms for Sarvia at Wilder, but she refuses to talk to me. I have to know what she wants in a husband, or Wilder the ungodly who hired me won't gather the dowry. So I need you, eager. Great. Once you learn what Sarvia and Wilder wants in a groom, talk to her father, Wilder the ungodly. Tell him it's time to get the dowry where the grooms can inspect it, to see how serious we are. Now go. And... Don't talk to me. I have problems. Big. I guess he's just not going to give up and go away. All right. I suppose I'll have to talk to you then. At least you have an honest face. So, as if I didn't know, what is it he wants? I'm not looking for a bridegroom at all. Marriage? <laughs> Maluk, take it. I want to travel, see the world, have adventures. No, you should be talking to my father, Wilder the Ungodly. Are you here to help arrange my daughter's marriage? She's got her mother's spirit. Good, then it's up to me. First he needs to be strong or my daughter will make a fool of him. Respectful of his elders and wealthy, of course. Oh, and uh, not too hard on the eyes. I don't want to get sick of looking at him. Um, is this for you or for the daughter? Of course, of course. A good groom deserves a good dowry. I have some gold and silks from, uh, well-wishers. They're stored in the upper camp. Gather the goods and take them to the entrance. Ashtad wants the dowry near the entrance where prospective grooms can inspect it. I'll send a guard down with a chest. Place the dowry. He just puts gold in a sack. Everyone attacking all of a sudden. I suppose I owe you that. I'm not a matchmaker. I'm a swindler, a confidence man. This is one of my classics. I tell the mark because I've reformed. Now I only target those who deserve it, like these idiot bandits. I'm only taking their ill-gotten gains. Up down the line. Would sleep with the prospective bride as well. <laughs> Look. 
looking for something? A sa Everything, I think. I'm not so easily fooled as my father. I knew there was something wrong with that matchmaker from the start. Eventually, I figured out his... Only if I get to go with you. Ashtag's plan was brilliant. A bit flawed, but brilliant. He probably would have gotten away with it if I hadn't tipped off my father. He lives the life I want, traveling the world and having exciting adventures. Sorry, I haven't got them. But I could get them if you can distract my father and the ungodly for a few minutes. My father and his... Yes, he's bound by the unwritten laws of the ungodly. My father can't refuse a challenge and keep his position as the boss. Just thank you. I'll grab the keys and free us. Everyone will stop attacking me. How do you know about that? isn't right. You're not even an ungodly. No, I won't fight you, but I won't kneel to you. The others won't either. In fact, I suspect they're... All right, so they want to attack me. So, I achieved nothing in terms of my safety. My father, does he live? Good. As you can see, I have Ashtad. With my help, he might even become a good swindler someday. Anything would be better. Okay, big town. Not the one where I'm leaving. Okay, good. 
Looks like this is a friendly town. Please, Wayfarer, I need your help. I was hired to guard a caravan out of Bergama, a family moving to Bankarai. Because of the snakes, I was prepared to defend the caravan from bandits, even <laughs> dune lookers, but not snakes. Take this antidote. I fear some of them may have been poisoned by the snakes and now lack of. Yeah, there's no comment on that. That's just good. My son is missing. My wife is wounded. We just came here today for some water. The snakes were on us before. And Stendar has not. That's all the wrong way. I'll do this part then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I was thinking just regular snakes, but not bloody sand serpents. I thought I was gone for sure. Thank you. Poisons burn, wanes. I am in your debt. And I only the one sand set. Some jackals. All right, now there's two, three. Maybe two. Oh. Roof I'm getting out of here. Well, I killed it. How bad though, because it's you know, it's cute. They look cute, but they're bloody sandwiches. Spared me a horrible, horrible fate, Wayfarer. Thank you. No problem. I cannot believe it. It's yes, and I intend. Oh shit. Oh shit, there's another one. Oops. 
someone got swallowed. I think there was pants in there. Snakes separated me from my family, and now you made it just in time. God damn it, really? I have to go that way. <coughs> As the jackals don't drop anything, they just seem to be cannon fodder. Magic fodder. Fodder. I'll meet you back at my parents' tent. <laughs> should I trust him? This doesn't seem like the right way to me. Maybe we should head back. Research is done on this super stuff. I wonder if they've mirage in this skin. My faith in you was truly Stendhal's mercy. Yeah. Is that it for the Iger's bluff at least? Yep. Okay, back to the city. something this is getting to be absurd oh I'm in this town How much longer must we pretend we do not know Kaznar may be among those who recently went missing or he's simply changed his mind he is a forebear after all I warned her crowns and forebears should not mix now everyone is angry she must call off the wedding something real quick
Tiela is like a doom ripper in a sandstorm. She buries her head to hide from the trooper. Perhaps you can help. I must stay here. I am most grateful for your help. Kasnar's brother, Ine, will be at... I do not know. I heard the killer was found dead, but that he was working for... Magistrate Sulma? I... I cannot believe this, even of a forebear. Her mind must have been twisted with a young man for a crown. Ha! Oh. Okay. Welcome to Bergama, Wayfarer. We have the finest musical instruments in all... Kaznar? That's a sore subject. He's not? Well, I'll be a lizard's uncle. I guess our little talk may have convinced him after all. We all went out drinking that. Damn. I, I don't know. I would have expected him to tell me if he had made such a decision. With so many people missing lately, I prefer to make sure. He should be at my cousin's house. The last one before the West Gate. Will you check? The more I think about it, the more this concerns me. If you find my brother, tell him to come speak with me. If he doesn't come soon, I'm going to close up shop and help you search. You must understand. I love my little brother, but he is so naive. He shouldn't associate with a crown girl, let alone marry her. Our father, Tuwaka, keep his soul. Of course I do, but the classic Romeo and Juliet situation. And just walk into people's houses and snoop around upstairs if my cousin were here i don't know maybe because there are armed thugs out there with orders to break okay. my kneecaps if i try to leave i thought I'd ask tiela's father he's the one who hired them paid uncle thack to make sure i don't get to the wedding jagness has been against our marriage from the beginning i don't know why i thought he would come around of course he wants tiela to think i stood her up She'll hate me for the rest of her life and think he was right all along. The bastard. If my father... Don't bother. If he went to this much trouble, he won't change his mind. If you really want to help, there's only one. Uncle Thack and his gang run the streets here in Bergama. They're not above the law, but they can be dangerous. If you can... Con I thought those guys looked a bit suspicious. Look at this, you walk in like you own the place, like you fear absolutely nothing. If it's a fight you want though, Kaznar, why doesn't Kaznar come talk to me himself? Oh yes, I remember, he prefers the indoors. Slow down now, no need to be rude, like I said, I'm a businessman. Truth is, I didn't much like the deal. My people wouldn't have really hurt the kid anyways. Kaznar and Tiela make a nice couple. In fact, if you'll do me that favor we discussed, I'll have my men get them a gift. Some hag's breath. It's an aphrodisiac. They might not be able to walk for a few days, but it'll make the wedding night unforgettable. There's an old hag in the desert, Viani. That sounds like an old wives tale.
surprised there's a hag even in the desert. Hello. I'm so glad you made it in time. We are just about to begin the ceremony. Oh, goodness. Hag's breath. What a special <laughs> gift. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> People of Bergama, we are gathered here today to witness the bond of marriage between Kaznar and Tiela. Yeah. I cannot believe she went through with it. <laughs> All I can say is thank Rutka. A sneaky little cur. I only tried to get the wedding called off for their own good. Crowns and forebears are too different. Yeah! God, I thought that was fucking NPC. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, shit, is a bit of kill people. Oh, Rutka, you wear imperial armor, but I can see in your face that you are not one of them. Perhaps you will understand, because they are worshippers of Molag Bal. They spit on our faith. They spit on our culture. They spit on our gods. Not only did they kill the other priests, but they ransacked the building, taking everything of value and destroying... I don't know. Perhaps. All these other things can be... If you can restore them. Sadly, I do not know. They are the sick. I... Yeah. That's the quest I was looking for. Get my mate fellas. Pass them through.
there. Oh, I did not realize I was going to be outside. So we're gonna attack them again. Oh, hello. Get away. I am safe here. If you want to help. You returned. I did not believe. I prayed and prayed, but felt nothing. You must act with the honors, of course. <laughs> I believe I can sense the gods returning already. No. You have done enough.
take out the sentry on Western Parapet first, then we'll... Now here's one who I know is loyal to the king. It's good to see you again, my friend. You're going to find this hard to believe, but the damned Imperials are here. They've seized it. They're in league with the damned Withered Hand. As if we didn't have enough necromancers to deal with already. <laughs> I'm glad I have one of us fooled. The Imperial Curs actually have one up on us. They're holding hostages, and the king doesn't want their blood on his hands. I need someone, unofficial, to go in. Your loyalty to the crown will be rewarded, my friend. You have my word. There are four. Lord Zagari, Magistrate Gorban, Shamon al Sentinel, and Lady... I don't think they will. The Imperials think strategically. They took the hostages to protect themselves, and they don't want to give that up. Don't know exactly. Our spies in Cyrodiil knew nothing about it. I suspect they've been in league all along, though. Generally speaking, I'm sure they are. But I'm more concerned. They've gone from bad to worse. The Horajad can't even go out in public without getting heckled. Crazy as it sounds. The damn crowns have people believing that it... So I hear. Someone just needs to get the word out to the people now. I suppose the king has a strategy, though. If there's any... You dirty pig. Whatever you do to me, I w Good. I don't think I could have tolerated another day up here. I'm afraid of heights, you know. Yeah. Like suddenly I was surrounded by sentries. By the gods, I swear that you infidels will all die. Ah, Thoda. I know him well. That's very encouraging. Did before. Let's see last. <laughs> you filthy dog. You can hurt me if you wish. Then we must. There are old. Everyone else.
down it, I'm on the wrong side. Whatever it is you people seek to... Alas, I never dreamt I would say it, but I swear eternal loyalty to King Faharajad. We must cease this crown against... Make it look worth a shot. This person is our enemy. Quickly kill the. I need aid. That's how I went to work. I need healing. Why is it? Uh, was there was a sentry every time. <coughs> oh. At least that happened. Whoever you are. I rejoice that you have come to my rescue, the Imperium. Yes, it's true, but only because resisting would have been to no avail. They sought to use my coming in. I do not have any insight on this. I have been contained here. Yes, but please don't hurt me. I did. I, I permitted the Imperials to use the smuggling tunnel beneath the manor, but I regret it now. There's a there are barrels of Kindle pitch down in the tunnel. If you place them near the supports and ignite them, that should collapse the tunnel. I am very sorry for what. I felt like I should have killed him, but. No! Not bad. Feel bad, man. There's a sentry on both sides. That's good to know. Some explosives.
I didn't hear the booms. A boom boom. Good work. Hostages came out and we attacked. Cut right through the bastards and scoured the city. Just a handful. It was a tunnel. Hmm. Does that mean they were coming from Bankarai? I guess. Cool. That's that city dealt with. Con. Con Sunset. It'll do nice. No end to those winged rats. Not that I'm complaining. Every feather's worth a fortune in gold to us now. You one of the magistrate's charges? I'm only shooting the ones in town. Don't worry. Don't think about trying to cut in. Danim's got an exclusive relationship with the magistrate. She gets wind of any shenanigans. Not my concern. I get paid for feathers regardless. Go talk to some of the townsfolk if you're that curious. The magistrate's the one who runs this town. Tell him I've got some more. I'll be right down. You're a new face to me, unlike that flappy buzzard. What? These birds aren't aggressive. I've had horses do more damage to me than any harpy, and I've had... I saw them steal four sacks of good grain from Zilron, a Khajiit merchant, and in the Magistrate's name, mind you. Him? <laughs> Ran off, no doubt. Who knows what he does, or where he hides after he's run amok in the market. He trades more than just grain, if you ask me. Right. found oh you would be too if you heard those beasts those screeching pecking clawing beasts this one had hoped the mercenaries would take care of our bird woman problem but no now zero oh yes they help themselves to my gold and my goods and sometimes they help against the harpies so i wait here of all the places for the harpies to strike they Harpies, bullies with swords. Right. What are you doing, Foreman? I'm just practicing, nothing more. Better not shoot any harpies. That's our job, and you don't want to take our. What the are you looking at? Keep one eye to the skies, friend. The harpies like to swoop down and grab whatever's light enough to carry. Only after they've sucked you dry. I refused to pay their protection fee, and the next day my house was ransacked. Except for entertainment, I can only guess. It's not like one can ask a beast why it acts so. Sounds like um, mercenaries have caused the situation and. 
I'm just getting money out of people for, to solve a situation that they're never going to solve and they also created it. The harpies are much bolder. We need more koi for supplies and the like. I heard disturbing rumors about your methods. Have you heard about the travelers stirring up trouble in town? Well, look who's here. Keep your opinions about our work to yourself. Dealing with the harpies as fast as we can, I assure you. Now please address any specific complaints to one of the guardsmen. Nothing. I have things under control. Got a reliable no, you don't. to protect the town until we're self-sufficient again. No, you don't. And please, don't say anything to Danun. He can get upset when the end of her tenure is brought up. Yeah. She's the leader of the Gold Coast mercenary troop. Mm, I, I don't them remember them. Our shoddy defenses when the harpies attack. They get to death and attrition, the two greatest enemies. Our guards either fell to the within hand, or one of the other perils of being a guardsman. The mean doesn't like competition, and I'm certainly not going to endanger our business arrangement. Why would Father, you need to know what's going on out there. Who is this? Someone come to help? Enough. I have no patience for your theories. Fine. Hey. If you want the truth, meet me at my house. It's at the edge of town, past the smith. Cool. See you there. Folks are saying that Count Ravenwatch discovered an alien manuscript in the Royal Crown of Ruins. Good thing you were there to help him. It's not safe to talk in the streets. Now I can speak openly. Be at ease. The mercenaries dare not enter my home uninvited. I watched you long before you spoke to my father. I'm the magistrate's daughter. Raised here, though now I am a traveling merchant. I came back when I heard of the town's troubles. My father insisted the Gold Coast mercenaries, our supposed saviors from the harpies, are our problem. They extort and steal from the good people here. And what's more, since Danim and her friends arrive, the harpies are angry with the town. They're usually nothing more than flying rats. The harpies can attack, yes. The mercenaries hid harpy eggs around Kozenset. <coughs> what a surprise. The harpies want the eggs back. Yep. That's the root of the town's harpy trouble. Cool. Don't be frightened. This is a friend. The harpies are not our enemies. Will you help me convince the others? I rescued her from them. The mercenaries killed her mother and the other chicks in her brood. This creature had done no wrong, yet they would kill her to be paid for her feather. It's the right thing to do. Thank you. She comes and goes as she pleases. This is a wild creature. Once their eggs are back in your life, bring me the eggs. Chicken. Just a small donation. Take pity. To be honest with you, Farage, it's not what I wanted to hear. So it's either the money or your teeth. I'll give you a minute to decide which.
Definitely more than that, but... So. You're quite light on your feet. Thank you for doing this. I'm sure not all of the eggs survived, but the least we can do is we... Hold a moment. Hold back to say the truth, Oh, give me one fucking reason, let me. Give me one excuse. eggs on purpose. Didn't you? Say no more, child. We haven't time for troublemakers. They're up to something. They must be. We have to find out what the, the mercenaries go in and out of the warehouse next to my home. There's one of them will let slip what their game is. Hide somewhere and listen to their chatter. Right. <laughs> I'm taking notes as well. It's getting tiresome. I almost preferred the harpies. Harpies are the least of your problems if you don't pay up. You've got your gold. No need to make threats. Let's see it then. Better not have shorted me. It's all there. We don't want to end up like the others. Good. I'll be back next week. Prices might be going up. Come on, Uramaji. Merciful Rutka, how long must we put up with these thieves? What a shock. Not good. You! You are the responsible one! My daughter was stolen away by the harpies. She and several other people. Not yet. They say they must prepare for it. Outside town, on the hillside, where they keep their irees. Feeding our people to their young, no doubt. Ah, <sighs> uh, you're an idiot, dude. I don't think the harvest took your daughter. Wait, maybe I'm being told because they're all mercenaries I'm waiting for. Me. Tied somewhere. Mean you any harm. Ooh. 
they're alive. Some. The mercenaries decided I was worth more dead than alive. They threw me out with a few others, beaten and bound. Well, this one did, and she brought some of her friends. They chased away the jackals and brought me to shelter. We must stop the mercenaries before any more innocents die. We don't need any more bloodshed. If there's a way we can end this... <laughs> Killing its friend. <laughs> Oh, that looked like that hurt. You're here. Did you find my... What? That's ridiculous. Why would they want to abduct the very... I will. Where is she? What nerve? Running your mouth right in front of me. You disgraced our town long enough. Ugh. A rotten egg? Don't think this is over, child. Gather everyone who will stand with us to drive these bad eggs out of town. Father, the dead can't offer their forgiveness, but I can. That's the one Leisure said to wait stand for. Stand with us. Let's go! About time we ran these charlatans out of our town. Laser said you'd come. Let's head to the guardhouse. <laughs> the harpies are congregated around this building. Looks like the mercenaries took something every bit as bad. I've no idea. But we need to restore goodwill with our flying neighbors. Even my father is in there to negotiate the mercenaries' departure. They should be out. She's a coward and a bully. Once her nature's revealed, my father will... Take your hands off me! Your pitiful town won't survive without our protection. We can do without you. Go and never return. And we'll run out anyone else. One, two. May the sands take your accursed town. Harpy's matron. Is this the reason they started attacking in the first place? Yeah, looks like it, my dude. I don't know if the Harpies will ever be able to trust us. Maybe this is the first step. What do you think? Who knows how long they... Give her to me. I still need to return their eggs, so I'll take her as well. about the um, bonus, I mean, them being expensive. Salas N.
Zavoria. A relief this to see a familiar game. face in this ghastly desert, particularly today. You help. Well, I discovered this fabulous portal in the Aeliot ruins. I sent my assistant through, and it was a mistake. The portal apparently leads to somewhere in the Grotwood, and yes, and unfortunately, it seems they're now planning a full scale invasion. Establishing a base, building siege weapons. We need to close the portal. Quick, you're a true hero. Suppose that's a. Oh, I haven't the foggiest. My research. It's quite <laughs> kind of you to ask. Who knows? Who cares? The blathering fool created such a mess here. He's become a liability, <laughs> especially since. My research. It's quite fascinating. Ooh, how kind of you to ask. Let's see. She's not realized Stippins isn't Stippins anymore. I was just tidying up. Because it's all my fault. The Aldberry. Lady Laurent sent me through the portal to investigate. When the elves praise you, praise you. I'm trying to gather all her things. But her tools are scattered out in... There's one more thing you should know. Lady Laurent. <coughs> she's a brute, And I need to be the one to give... Well, you and I both know I'm not really Stibbons. But I think I'm doing a good job of playing the part. This Tamian fellow is just complicating things. Minute, right? It isn't my old friend from Crosswitch. Let me guess. Lady Laurent has you helping clean up this mess she made. Or is it Stibben? It could be worse. Lady Laurent paid. Did he? I'm surprised he could get that out through the whimpering and whining. They just following orders. Even before this, Stibbins couldn't keep up, so Lady Laurent hired me. Well, for one thing, I'm better looking. For another, I'm actually getting paid. Don't think too long. I was wondering if you're like I suppose if you want to lug don't think too long. The hell did they get up there? Oh, I fell off, I didn't fall off, I got knocked off.
Yeah, this Tamian dude's a bit, I mean, Stibbins dude's a bit freaking sus considering he's not really Stibbins. <laughs> Don't know if I trust the dude. Oh shit. I watched you rummaging around. All right. It's time to get paid then. Give me the tools and I'll go ahead and give you half of what Lady Wolf. Here's half. Poor Craven Stibbins. The truth is, I almost killed him. I certainly made short work of those elves. There seem to be few odd skeletons down here. No problem for you, I'm sure. Now, I assume you found the old tome in my camp? Thank you very much. Fortunately, I can translate the ancient... It's through this door right behind me. The problem is that it's locked, but it appears... <gasps> Seems in this game the only people that aren't infiltrated by necromancers is the old Mary Dominion. Just saying. Oh wait, that's a lie as well. I've inherited something with necromancers. Are they just impact supremacists? 
Before you speak, stranger, know this. Did you hear me? This is no common <coughs> spell. It was cast by Ultima for centuries. It pains me. Ha! Neuralon, our secret. Elves lit. It was the... They would. A foreign. It pains me. Fine. It was the regatta. For centuries. It was the regatta. Fine. If I knew... For centuries. Okay. Speed. Okay, not the Steve. The <laughs> lover. So do they have ten months or ten seasons instead of ten months maybe? So the lover is second. to work. B. 
eat. I'm gonna assume that they're all in order now. How are you doing that? Princess. Warrior. <coughs> the lady, the tower, the Atronach, the thief. Tower, Ashnak, Thief. <coughs> and the Stiff. By the bloody fangs of Moloch, by the stench of Moloch's gaping maw. I... I should thank you, but I don't even think this is what I wanted. It's been so long... The orc I know and love would never utter such words. Nura, is it really you? It's been so long. We've suffered enough of this curse. By the grace of Mara, I have been allowed to take you beyond this mortal realm. Finally, a release from the suffering of this world. Come, my love. We have the rest of eternity to be together. <coughs> Lucky. It's easy to forget I'm in the middle of a desert right now. Not like assassins or eggs from Assassin's Creed almost. They have so much faith in that seal they put on the main door. They don't even have anyone guard. All right, 
You're going to have to protect me, though. The chamber may be clear now, but as soon as I start the ritual, they'll realize it on the other side. All right, let's get this started. <clears throat> that was quick. Goroso. Okay, she's fucking useless. Take that, you damned elves! Oh my god. All right, I think I've got it. Fucking hope so. Ray. Why didn't you figure that out that before? Takes care of that now, doesn't it? I'm actually quite relieved. It would have been so embarrassing to have been responsible for the fall of Alakir. I am too. Now. If you would, though, I still would prefer to. God. It's just a little embarrassing. Okay. <sighs> Map. Push camp. Just. For some reason, I'm thinking about saltwater taffy, which I've never actually had before. I got me craving something sweet. A beating. That's a. Those bad. I came to join the Saltwalker militia. They didn't stop to answer questions. Just. Dar's thugs come to her I guess not. Apologies, stranger. Ever since the bandits moved into our camp. New around here, aren't you? He's the officer in charge of the real militia here. Those of us still loyal to the effort to join the Covenant answer. If you're here to join up with Captain E, then we'd have to persuade you to change. Sorry, stranger. I'm expecting a liaison from the Covenant military to visit and decide if our militia qualifies. Ha! <laughs> Noticed that, did you? Yes. The camp is divided between those still loyal to the militia and those loyal to Gadars and his promises of easy living and gold. Because I know Gadars from way back. We were in King Ramsay's service together. He was a good man then, and I have to believe there's still some good in him somewhere. Maybe it's just... And if you find out... Heartbeat. Why didn't you say so? I thought you were another sand eater come to fight for the Alakir. Gudars is a great man, but he has a tragic history. Because if you're part of his loyal crew, you get treated right. The pick of the loot and back up when you're in trouble. He learned how to handle troops when he was in the Sentinel Army under old King Ramsay. He was an agent, part of what you call military intelligence. Lived in Tava's blessing, had a family. He reported what he'd heard, but the general dismissed it and sent him on another mission. The pirates raided Tava's blessing and killed him. Don't 
might look like one of these. Well, you can't just call him a bandit. He obviously has military experience, and he's smart. No doubt about that. Who knows? Perhaps he made a mistake and was disgraced and discharged. Or maybe... Blood. I saw the look on his face when he killed our old captain. He and his... I saw you talking to Captain Uznagik. I hope he's finally going to do something about these ruffians. Heard he used to be a pirate. Got his ship by ambushing a captain and cutting his throat in cold blood. Then he claimed the title of captain for himself and made it... He'd already gotten a gang of his own bully boys into the crew, and he bought some of the others. The opposition was shouted down or chased off. Same thing again is my guess. He gets his gang to infest the militia, gains <coughs> trust, then murders the captain and takes over. Come to the right man, mate. I've been with Gudars longer than anyone. I was part of the deal. That's right, mate. Gudars had a grudge against this Captain Kroner, so he goes around and gets together a small gang of boys who are sharp with a blade and none too nice about it. Oh, we pirated for a while. But now with the war going on, all the navies are at sea and it's too dangerous. So, Gudars comes up with another scheme and we comes ashore to work. Uznagik said to be patient, and he's never led us astray. What have you learned of my old friend, Gudars? I see. Oh, that's terrible. But I don't see much left of the man I knew. Now he's demanding that I leave and take the other real man. He's left us no choice. We have to adopt his own methods. Kill Gudars and cut off. Good. I hate to lose a battle in my own camp. Beat the drum in our combat arena, and Gudars will come to fight. He glories in turning the sand red with our recruits' blood, and set this up to show his prowess. saw which tent you came out of, meddler. I'll make your death a painful one. This is your last chance to turn tail and run before I destroy you. So you did it. I must admit, it's a relief. Traditionally, you would now be in command of the militia. But is that what you want? If not, thank you. I appreciate your trust. He's of the Dishonored. Last one in this desert. Of the law. Yes. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, I see stuff. This thing here. Place of decay. My wife's remains were sent here. Damn it, I just went past it. As you can see, this is a horrible. Was her older brother's fault, the dirty thief. He took advantage of her. He came to Zaria. Yes, and Zaria knew that. But her brother promised to find legitimate work once he paid his debts. So she agreed to help. But then she turned them into the guard. But they had planted. No. If I did, I would have presented it long ago and perhaps saved her life. As it is, though, I do not take these funerary oils and perform. If you have come to search my remains for the gems I was accused of stealing, then you are both a coward and a fool. No, wait. Please do not. It is sweet of Darius to try to do this for me, but I am not ready to go to the far shores. I do. The fiends who did this to me, my brother and his friends, <laughs> their remains are here too. They framed me for stealing valuable gems, but the truth was that they swallowed the gems. They died with a proof. Yes. As the corpses of the dirty dogs have decomposed, the gem. Oh, to walk a bless your soul. This will be immensely sad. Hillid the blade, you cowardly liar. Show yourself.
exaggerate. Being your sister was my greatest dishonor. You disgust me. Show yourself. You're a fool, Zaria. Even in death. Charge! Lay up the highway, man, you dirty dog. Show yourself. You betrayed us first. Betrayed you first. After your her brother lied about stolen property. <laughs> May those bastard evil souls languish here for all justice is done thank you for your part in this i am I prayed to Walker would guide you. Did you find Zuri? Wonder of wonders. Her ring shows you speak the truth. These are the stolen gems. They will prove her innocence. I can bury my wife. I'm not finished for even spot. Oh dear. Okay. Let's 
control or disguise. Oh, you're kidding me. Business, we received word of the Imperial attack. He entered the house, but then ran back out holding his. lunatic woman Sep himself a mad woman named lady laurent she hired me in the alakir to guide her through the desert ask her i didn't stick around to hear her explanation That's right, this is a place is under siege, or at least it was. Of Imperial disguise. A new face. What's your business? We don't see a lot of trap. Hmm. You want to speak to Ufa then? Too bad no one knows where he is. And don't think you can try anything. I don't 
think we've met. And I don't think... And I hear the Imperials have spies everywhere. So why the... Across the way is a guarded warehouse. If someone took weapons from there, it'd be a blow against the Seventh Legion. Okay, I guess that doesn't work here. Can't you see I'm doing my work? Or are you harassing me because I don't bow my head? Why would I want those weapons? I'm no friend to the resistance. Or is that so? Let me fix them for you then. There. No one will suspect. I name no names. What do you want from me? I've... Red fur, you say? Yes, running across the rooftops in the sunset. I will guard this with my life, though I wish our mutual friend would return. This will prove quite useful in his absence. You risk... These old eyes see you. Come, come. not see me, did you? No one sees the poor, the sick, the oppressed. You help one of the destitute, no more. I have nothing except my eyes and ears. And I see Yara wants to trust you, but she cannot. Unimportant, but here is how she will. She waits by the tavern as she was spying on you. I was not expecting you. How did you... Never mind. One of our allies passed with a peculiar bag from the stables. It's good to know you were the one to supply it. Well, then, I think it's best if we go our separate ways. Though you helped considerably. What? How do you know this? The wind is truly at our backs. I've misjudged you. My apologies. We've been watching and waiting ever since <coughs> the Seventh Legion took our city. Now's the time. Let me share what we know. The Seventh Legion took the town under cover overnight. Some say a traitor... Not what, but whom. I've set up a meeting with someone who may know the identity of the traitor. I'd like you to all return to the alchemist shop on the other side of town. Yes, I will wait. Did Yara send you? She said to me. It's more of a feeling. 
Call it intuition. The Imperials may know your face by now. You can disguise yourself as one of them for the time. With a disguise, the soldiers won't give you a second glance, but the sentries will certainly stop you if they can. Oh, okay. It's slightly different. Thank you for your discretion. I'm rather concerned about what's going on in Holland's stand. You misunderstand. My husband is captained up here at Nemer of the city guard. I think soon after the Imperials came, our daughter disappeared. And my husband speaks with the Imperials, carries sealed messages back and forth. I don't know what... through my things. What are you doing in my home? Did Quatri... Oh, Kisma. I wish I didn't have to keep such secrets from you. By Mara's heart, I don't know who betrayed us, but it was... They have her. Our daughter. The Imperials kidnapped her and hold her as a hostage. I'd be safe... I've seen the girl. It's not too late. The couple despairs, but all is not lost. The Imperial fool Quatrius believes he's invincible, and in a way, he is. If one... Not how, but where. Go to the pavilion in the shadow of the palace. You are already armed. Armed with the... Someone didn't... wasn't as sneaky as I was. Away with you. We're simply enjoying the fresh air. What? It's complete nonsense. Uh, fine, fine. Papa!
This is your doom. I am truly blessed to have such aid from a stranger. The Grande has changed. The Imperials made me capture her and bring her to them. I fear they want to publicly execute her in order to cow the citizens. Seems you've poked a hornet's nest. I hope whatever they have the Grindea? That is troubling news. You are mistaken, friend. Master Ufa, you're truly alive. Did I not send word with our friend here? I spoke to the captain after you left. He was more than willing to help. Don't you recognize the old beggar without his rags? <laughs> I've been following you for quite a while. You've been a great boon to the resistance. Once we have the traitor in our hands, we'll have all the pieces we need to... The captain's men know how to find him, but I don't know where these men are, or if they're still among the living. They won't work with me, but may consider you and... Seek Aisha, Nasira, and Runeed. Their peril is our opportunity. I'm sure they'd rather work with us than... What do you want with this? Everybody knows Aisha caught it. Someone who knows what they want, yes? There are people all around us. But ah, you are a smart one. I can tell you many good townspeople remain inside. my disguise.
I must seek my fortune. I wondered if someone would... He's a womanizing piece of scum who'd sell his own mother to make a few coins. Ask at the tavern for Niha. He's later. I thought I'd find him nearby. You don't look like one of the Seventh Legion. He's in hiding, the rat. He is named Maradim. You'll have to find a way to lure him. I saw him at the tavern a few times. The snakeskin. Oh my god, I was just there, wasn't I? Oh wait, no, I wasn't. That was the place where I've been meeting the. Wait. God damn it, now I can't remember.
was there at some point. Perhaps. Many know Maradem. Do you know what would happen to me if I betrayed Maradem? Or any of my contacts? You have little choice, Nia. Ufa, you're alive. Nia will help, for the good of us all. But I understand her fear. We still need information from the wretch. Fortunately, I know of a simple way to extract it. Across the way lies the Mage's Guild. I'll set a trap for Maradem with my dear Niha's help. Once you have the powder, take it to the Drowsy Owl Inn upon the hill and get the rest of the details from her. Okay. Oh! Oh! My mail. I'm going to leave it there for tonight. Um, I should be back on tomorrow night. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, you want to check out the Twitch stream live, the link will be in the description below. Or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash 96 Cool. So, hopefully there's going to be not much more sneaking around next stream. But, yeah. <coughs> Until next time, see you later. Bye.